Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we have a B58 engine out of a 2019 M140i. Now this engine hasn't blown as yet but it was blowing a lot of smoke and the owner decided to do something about it. Quick background story about this uh, engine. I got this engine from a friend of mine, he is a mechanic and the car belonged to a friend of him and they put a bigger turbo, downpipes, methanol injection kit, a bunch of things and they were actually waiting to get the engine tuned when I believe the owner decided to go too wild and cause some damage. Now we have removed the engine heads, couldn't find any issues with it, everything was uh, apparently fine. What I can tell you so far is uh, there is a lot of play on the piston for cylinder number three. So we can rock the piston side to side, this is not supposed to happen. To have a guess, I would say there's probably a broken ring lens or the piston itself is broken. The only way to determine what exactly went wrong is to put this engine apart, which is what we are going to do right now. Cylinder number one, piston number one looks all right. Cylinder number two looks good. And no, piston number three is not cracked, but it's worn, it's really worn. The rings are loose, isn't it? Now, did any of the cylinder walls got damaged? This is what we're going to find out. few moments later okay so I have some bad news and some more bad news now uh, we finished putting the block apart uh, everything is out I mean everything all the pistons are out let's start let's start for let's start with the pistons all right here are the pistons looking at them first glance not bad okay even the the rod bearings are really good none of the, the rods are bent however if you start to analyze them further these are the skirts, right? the Teflon skirt, skirts. Uh, this is a coat that they actually paint when, uh, once the, the pistons are manufactured. So uh, that's okay, that's okay. When we got to cylinder number three, this is the piston on cylinder number three. You go, hmm, what happened to this guy? There's no Teflon skirt on it, both of the size. Well, this is where this piston uh, actually measured up 0 0.05 millimeters uh, smaller than the others, which were already worn out. So, uh, compared to the bore, this piston head 
I can't remember the number now. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure up in a sec, but it was about 0 0.2 millimeters uh, of a play inside of the ball. So this piston was rocking inside of the ball. This is what was uh, causing the noise and obviously the wear. Uh, okay, so we go. Just slap new pistons and new rods inside of this uh, engine, and it's going to be fine, right? Well, this is what my friend mechanic wanted to do when he first got me to build this engine, he said, well, the engine is good, the cylinders look good, they, they, they are apparently great, there's no scoring, no scratching or anything like that. So all that I wanted to do is to drop new pistons and rods into this engine, you won't even remove the crankshafts, that's the reason why the crankshaft is still in place, uh, I haven't touched that. However, there is more to the story and I'm gonna show you now what the problem also is, not just the pistons, uh, but actually something else. Okay, so looking at the block, it doesn't actually look that bad. However, upon further inspection, when I actually clean all the all of the cylinder walls and uh, I start to inspect them, it's it's quite funny because the cylinder walls have this deformation, which is uh, it's very hard to get on the camera. Like I was, I was trying my best here, we can probably have a rough idea of what it is. So. Basically, imagine these are the cylinder walls. When it gets to the very top, they, they're doing like a nest. They are a little bit deformed, probably about 10 millimeters before we reach the top of, of the deck. This is causing the air to escape or the oil to escape, and that's the reason why the, this engine was blowing a lot of oil. However, what makes it even worse is the fact that cylinder number three, the wear on cylinder number three is, is, is just amazing, okay? Anything going past uh, 0 0.1 millimeters is considered by manufacturers, most of them, as being uh, out of warranty or it's not serviceable anymore, it's just too much wear. And let's measure this up, I want to show you guys uh, with a bore gauge what the difference are in real life. Okay, so using the ball gauge, uh, we're gonna test and see how much wear there is on each one of the cylinders. What I've done is I set the micrometers to 82 millimeters because this is what the B58 cylinders uh, should measure, 82 millimeters. With that zero off, I transfer that number to the micrometer. So when this block came out of the factory, these will be measuring zero, so we can see they are uh, three, so each one below, like to, to the left hand side of the zero is uh, the difference in wear. If it goes to the other side would be that it's two tights. So measuring this up, we can rock it up and down and we're gonna search for the lowest number. In this case is about 0 0.04 millimeters, that's okay. Up on very top is about 0 0.5, 0 0.4, which is acceptable. Cylinder number five is the same thing, maybe a little bit more. So this one is reading about 0 0.6, 0 0.7. Cylinder number four, this one is all right as well at the very bottom, uh, about 0 0.6. So anything below 0 0.1 millimeters is considered to be acceptable by uh, many standards. But when we drop this guy to cylinder number three, Let's go to the very bottom of the cylinder. So that's the best reading that we get, which is 0 0.04. Again, when the piston is at the lowest, uh, it doesn't have much pressure, so there isn't much wear going on. As the piston co starts to compress the air, what happens is it's going to rock side by side, and that's where the damage is starts to occur. So as we move up halfway through the cylinder, have a look. This is 0 0.2 millimeters of wear. That's too much. If we come to the top, it gets even worse. So the biggest uh, wear that we have is right here, which looking at the cylinder, that's about 15 millimeters below the deck surface and is reading 0 0.24. So that's 0 0.24 millimeters of wear plus the other 0 0.05 millimeters. Uh, that's almost 0 0.3 millimeters of play. This piston was rocking side by side inside of this, uh, this cylinder. And that's the reason why the noise was coming from the pistons. Uh, the piston ring couldn't seal properly, and that's one of the reasons why this engine was blowing smoke as well. Yeah, now something happened to this engine, and uh, it damaged specifically cylinder three. I mean, all the cylinders are damaged, but number three has much more wear to it. 
It could be a failing fuel injector. It was uh, maybe overspraying too much fuel. It could be something to deal with the tune, because again, the car wasn't tuned. They were waiting to get the car tuned and, and, and this happened. It's uh, a little bit hard to tell exactly what caused the issue. If you, if you know, if you have an idea, just make sure you put it in the comments down in the video, because I would like to know also. Moving forward, what we are gonna have to do is Actually, my favorite thing, we're gonna drop a set of sleeves on this block. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this out, take the crankshaft out, uh, all the auxiliaries, everything, and send this block out to the machine shop. They're going to sleeve the block, probably a cast iron or steel sleeves. I'm not too sure I'm gonna have a chat to the owner and see which uh, route he wants to go. But that means this block is going to be much stronger than it actually is from the factory. Anyway, I think that should be it. If you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to know more about the B58 engines and follow up on the next couple of videos that we're gonna have on the rebuild, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.